Jesus said, Whoso cometh not unto me is under the bondage of sin. When we repent and are free from sin, our lives are changed and Jesus makes us free. We look at life and other people very differently. When this great miracle took place for the sons of Mosiah, they were desirous that the gospel should be preached to every creature, for they could not bear to think that anyone would endure endless torment. In so doing, they did, it did cause them to quake and tremble, and thus did the Spirit of the Lord work on them. They counted their work among the Lamanites as the most touching of missionary stories in the scriptures. Having gained the respect of King Lamoni, Ammon taught him the truth about God. He taught him about the creation, the fall, and the plan of redemption. The Son of God shall surely come, cry unto our Father, and he will hear. O Lord, have mercy, according to thy abundant mercy which thou hast had on the people of Nephi, have upon me and my people. Lamoni lay as if he were dead. His wife, his wife and his sons and daughters mourned over him. After two days and two nights, they were to carry his body to the sepulcher. It was at this time that the queen, hearing about Ammon, sent for him. The servants of my husband have made it known unto me that thou art a prophet of a holy God, and that thou hast power to do many mighty works in his name. I would that you should go in and look upon my husband, for he has been laid upon his bed for the space of two days and two nights. And some say that he is not dead, but others say that he is dead, and that he ought to be placed in the sepulchre. He is not dead, but he sleepeth in God, and on the morrow he shall rise again. Therefore, bury him not. Believeth thou this? I have had no witness save thy word and that of our servants. Nevertheless, I believe it shall be according as thou hast said. Blessed art thou because of thy exceeding faith. I say unto thee, woman, there has not been such great faith among all people in Nephites. The queen watched over her husband from that time, even on the morrow, which Ammon said he should rise. Blessed be the name of God, and blessed art thou, for as sure as thou livest, behold, I have seen my Redeemer, and he shall come forth, and be born of woman, and he shall redeem all mankind for who believeth on his name. Ammon, seeing the Spirit of the Lord poured out upon them, began to pour out his own prayer, the prayer of his soul, in thanksgiving to his God. He also was overpowered with joy. And, and the three of them had sunk to the earth. The servants were next. They began to call on the name of the Lord in their might, even until they had all fallen to the earth, save it was one Lamanitish woman whose name was Abish. She had been converted earlier due to a remarkable vision of her father. Supposing that many would be converted, she called for others. A scene of confusion and contention ensued. In desperation, Abish came to the queen. When she took her hand, the queen arose declaring, O oh, blessed Jesus, who has saved my soul from an awful hell. O oh, blessed God, have mercy on this people. She touched the king, and he arose. He quieted the contention and began to teach his people. Eventually the servants Calm down. and Ammon also arose. 
All declared the self same thing, that their hearts had been changed, that they had no more desire to do evil. Missionary work has always been very important. Let us now listen to a group of missionaries who are sharing some experiences from their missions. <laughs> 